they didn't already even aware that this what the area was. So it's just important to you know, keep the history alive. So, uh, so basically, that's what it's about tonight. Um, we're also going to go back to all the um, supporters that we had when we um, were working on the Vicki Marlene um, add-on. Um, we had uh, endorsements uh, um, from Law Cabinet Republican on down to uh, the Alliance. I mean, the uh, what's the Democratic Club? Central City Democrats. Yeah, the Central City Democrats. So that's what we want to make sure that we do this time. Make sure we cross our I's and dot our T's because we want to include, we don't want to exclude anyone. Okay, and um, there, there was even a topic about if we were going to have it in the park or are we, we may be looking at um, a little garden area. Um, we want to keep all, all things open. And um, we got a good little group. So, uh, if you have any questions about anybody, does anybody have, have any questions? But please come to one of the committee meetings, and we are always in need of some uh, some extra people that have any kind kind of ta talents, because we are just doing doing different stuff, and we're coming up with new ideas on how to better it, or or however have you. But then also, we also have a uh, map. That um, that was done back in the '60s, of course, uh, for the Tenderloin, um, Polk Street, or well, of the whole city, actually. So I have the slightest. I don't have that much information, like Michael and Coy Metza and other people that know more about the history than I do. Um, I'm and I'm more about working with people that that know about the history so that I can help do my part to preserve it. Remember the Peter Pan bar over on Turk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so is there any questions? So I won't have to hold it up too long. Because I don't cause, cause I don't have like any like uh, I, I just wanted to check in with the alliance actually. That's that's all it is. It's just to let to um, uh, to let the the alliance know that we are moving along. Um, it's coming at a snail's pace, but we are not going to rush it because I found out while working on other events and making sure that the community outreach is done that you can't rush it. It's, it's, it's better to to get everything done. Okay, I'll see you later, Mike. Thank you. Okay. So, is there any questions? No. This is great. Got babies yeah. in here. All right. Oh. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Oh, yeah, I'm going to come back in a couple months. No, no, but we have a board meeting. Okay. All right. What about the Citro bathhouse? Yeah, what's on this one? Yeah, right under this one. Ooh, because I think we're okay. That's why I have food stay in here. I have another meeting to go to. I have to do an outreach to. All right. All right. Okay. We're here. Okay. So thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions, please, on the flyer, it has my email and my uh, phone number. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Okay. Thank right. you. All right. Our uh, next agenda item. Thank you, Gerald. Uh, uh, so our next agenda item. So if you look on our, uh, on our uh, under announcements, all these things are listed there anyway. So uh, you know, if you lose the flyer, it's still on the agenda. The, uh, the next uh, outreach meeting for the uh, Tenderloin Pride in uh, the Park is mentioned. Uh, organizing meeting. Uh, and uh, the list is under this date. It's not done by date, so you just we'll scroll down to the date that uh, uh, that it happens. So the next item we have is uh, uh, twelve seventeen Sutter, and um, they seem to be a no show. None of the uh, presenters are here. We did call during the meeting, and they haven't shown up. So and we haven't heard back from them. So uh, we're going to move on to the next agenda item, which is uh, by the way, uh, it's like twelve seventeen Sutter is a uh, business also uh, they're also purchased the building and they were going to discuss that with us uh, the permits for their the business plan and that's what they are coming to our meeting for now uh, so then the next item is uh, public safety updates uh, uh, we were taking so long that two police officers left um, from they had their own lineup 
from Southern Station and the Tenderloin. Um, and so uh, they're not here to answer questions or address our concerns or talk to us about what they were going to talk to us about. But our public safety chair does have stuff that's ongoing that we deal with in our neighborhood. So he can give a, a rundown of things that he's dealing with as uh, the Alliance's public safety chair. There's two alcohol licenses pending. One is 466 Betty Street. I've talked to Joan Benedino at ABC. She has been out and she hasn't been able to locate the uh, site of the uh, application. Um, as of Friday, there was no sign posted anywhere in the 400 block of Betty Street. And um, they haven't filed any paperwork except a request to get a license, that's all they've done. So there's, there's I have no way, of, no way of finding anything out. Um, the other one is 337 Jones, and um, the date to uh, file a protest is expired on that one. That's a type 41. That's one. That, 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 they sent out notices to the residents, and that's- I never got one. Well, they sent it out. I'm in 300 feet. I'm in 300 feet. I didn't get one. Please, we're up. You don't need to go back. I'm just, well, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. No, they didn't, because I didn't get one. Okay. So, I didn't, so they didn't. Maybe they did to your building, but that's not 300 feet. All right, but that's, okay. And um, so, but based upon the information I have, um, it's dated December, and you only have 30 days to protest. Uh, the other thing is, um, for legislative information, that's all I have on public safety. For legislative information, I have a sent, I have requested to be emailed to me um, information on a resolution by Supervisor um, Yee on uh, federal funding $239,000 for elderly and disabled uh, transit program for Laguna Honda, which would buy transit vehicles so they wouldn't rely, have to rely on paratransit itself to do it. And I sent, I requested information on landmark status for um, property at 182 to 198 Golf Street, AKA the RL Goldberg Building by Supervisor Breed. Also, I've requested information on, um, by Supervisor Campos, an ordinance to suspend um, ordinance number 218-14, which regulates short-term rental, residential rentals. I've also asked for information on a uh, contract agreement between the State Department of Health Care Services and the Substance, U Substance Use Disorder Services for a, a three-year funding package for $33,250,026. And I, the last one I sent away to ask for information on is a uh, resolution to uh, uh, authorize the Director of Behavioral Sciences to enter into an agreement to run a facility named Edwood, Edwood, Edgewood Center for Children and Families Psychiatric Facility. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, next item is new business. Um, I don't think we want to get into new business right now. So the, the item eight is uh, our next alliance meeting is going to be on March the 10th at six o'clock here in this community room. Uh, 230 Eddy Street, um, and then um, as you can see, there's a list of announcements uh, mentioned, and then that brings us to uh, the uh, adjournment. So uh, we normally adjourn all our meetings in memory of those who passed away in uh, District 6, and in this case, uh, Patrick Murphy, who used to be a resident here, passed away. Um, uh, a couple weeks, a week or a couple weeks ago, and uh, the, actually there were several residents that passed away. We had three and five days. Ken Lima, my cousin, passed away on the 30th of December. Mention. Yeah. He was uh, 45 years old. He passed away from heart disease. He wasn't expected to live past childhood, so I guess every day was a bonus for him. He was a graduated from ITT. He was a computer tech, and uh, he'll be missed by a lot of us. He worked at, uh, he was on the 
City Hall Committee for um, the Medical uh, Cannabis Patient Committee. He, was the, he took minutes and voted, you know, like they do. So. Yeah. And he was a video game champion. He, he was um, won first place, a lot of trophies in air hockey of all sports. I don't know if they can call that a sport. Um, and uh, that's how I heard of him because he was my long lost cousin. I never, my, my mom kept me, my dad was killed by the police and so. My, she remarried, and um, my, I, I found them in the phone book off my birth certificate. So, And they were there. They were home. I looked them up in the phone book. There they are. He was home. He answered the phone. Yeah, I'm your cousin. I was 39, and he was like in his 20s. And uh, so that's how I met them. They were cool. You know, my uncle's a Vietnam vet, and uh, yeah, I've got my one cousin left. His, her name is Patty. She's up in Sacramento. I'm trying to get her down here. So. Anybody, anybody have any questions or um, anything? We have a memorial page for Ken Lima set up. It's called Memorial for Ken Lima, and I'm posting pictures of where we went. So if you have any pictures of him, you know, feel free to post them. I've sent a lot of invites to people for his page. Uh, he had two cats. I adopted his cat, Odin, who uh, is a very sweet cat. And he, he lives with my other cat, who's very skinny and eats all the time. And he never hardly eats, but he's he's very chubby. And I, I think he might have thyroid disease. I, the other one has it, and I have to give her a pill every day of my life for seven, at okay, seven well, o'clock. This is about memorial, so yeah. Is there, well, is anyway, there is there a time for a memorial? Or we had it. We had. We're going to have another one at the clubhouse at 1260 Mission, and that's. Uh, going to be at an undetermined time. I'm just waiting until I have enough money because I had to pay all his final expenses and just drain my oh, bank yeah. account. So I got to get money to have the memorial and buy the pizza and all that. Because right. that's what he would want, pizza. That was his favorite food. All right, great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for also mentioning. So I mentioned too, Patrick Murphy's memorial will be this Thursday at 10 a.m. right here in this room. And we're having a Jewish rabbi come and do a Jewish service uh, for his memorial. Um, so we encourage people who knew him to come and uh, express their condolences. We have a card out front on the dresser if you can sign um, for uh, his family. Thank you. He's on Facebook, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's my friend. Okay. Um, all right, uh, so those are on the board of the uh, Alliance for Better District 6. We now will have an executive committee meeting, and then the, the rest of the meeting is adjourned. So anybody that's not on the um, on the, the executive board, the board of directors of the Alliance is excused. Uh, and they can take some food with them, uh, food plates, no, and yeah, more right. drinks. Uh, since uh, I can see, you can smell it, so the <laughs> food's still here. I can smell it. So take